Hello, welcome. Um, we're going to show how to get easy into Ortilius. So we prepare a little repo with some script that will let you have in a few minutes uh, uh, a local Kubernetes cluster um, with Ortelius and it's still working. So this repo, we are going to share the links on the comments on the overview of this video, but we're going to check the URL. It's a public URL on GitHub. So right now it's on my public repo. Probably we are going to move out this into Ortelius, but until that, you can just clone it from, from there. Okay, so this repo has a few scripts. Um, Kubernetes scriptor. Uh, the requirements are on the readme file, so if I am missing anything, just let me know. Create an issue and we will fix it. So first of all, you need a mini cube running. So let's start um, Minikube. We're going to increase a little bit uh, the resources and start. Um, we're going to start with the run artillery into Minikube. So we're going to use Helm. So we're going to install this. Okay, so when this is ready, you're going to see this complete. Um, if you see weird comments like KGPO is because I'm just using aliases. So at the end I'm doing kubectl, kubebots, but are just a few aliases for avoiding writing too much. Okay, so after it's running, let's check what else we have for here. We are going to add Istio. At the end of the Istio installation, you're going to see that we delete the pod or tell us. Uh, that's okay because we just want to. Uh, Roll out Ortelius uh, because if it's the right now has a so for automatic injection you you will need to do this little change by default anything you put into Ortelius namespace is, will be uh, will will have a sidecar for least. We're going to see that right now Ortelius has a second container. We can see we have an Artilius namespace and we have an Istio namespace. So if I get the code for the namespace of these two systems, <coughs> uh, we can see that it's running. I already add a uh, Kialian Primitius because it's really nice to have a uh, observability. We're going to check it that in a, in a few. So usually on locally it's not that uh, easy to get uh, the URLs for your cluster because you know Kubernetes is a isolated cluster so expose uh, the things inside the cluster are not exposed by default. There we go. So, um, so just give me the Artilius URL. This will try to open your browser, so don't panic. So this is Ortelius. By default, you will have a, an admin, 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 user and password. You have a demo over here, and you have a, you are working on Kubernetes, so you can easily have uh, add new deployments and and work with Ortelius. So additionally we have a uh, another give me script that is a uh, give me Kiali script. So 
So this one is going to send you to the to the galley. Um, that's because we want to check uh, that our deployment is is, is uh, working on our tilde namespace. So here you can see um, the script about what is happening in the namespace. So you can add all these. Um, graphic uh, elements uh, will let you have a nice uh, view about the what you have deployed um, and all the, the requests that are uh, are going to your namespace so with this here you can just uh, manage the traffic uh, exposing access um, um, making some rules about how to get into your application. So, as you can see, we have two nodes because we have this the Kubernetes and the host um, what, where we are working. Uh, we have the shard, right, that is applying these changes. Uh, and actually, we have this Ortilius version 1. We are mapping the access of Ortilius to the Ortilius. B1. So if you check the Istio um, objects, you're going to you you can add a new version and and map in and and put rules on over that. So um, what else? We have a little issue here. So on the Istio configs. So if you check this destination rule is complaining. So he's expecting some host, right? So destination rule by Kiali is not working. Okay. This is because this host should be uh, a service internal on the cluster. So we should change this. We're going to see that this is the host we want to map. So we can change this to this, save it, and right now your destination rule is working because the name we were, uh, we have, uh, we replace it. Uh, it wasn't a, um, a valid services. Remember, inside the Kubernetes, you are going to have services that are the names. Uh, uh, of the results that you can you can resolve to to connect right so you're not going to work di directly with the container or what you're going to work with the with the service so this is a uh, that's why Kiali is really nice you can have this like alerting about anything any change any problem um, and you can uh, see the traffic and uh, things are happening in your in your namespace right incoming uh, the errors the I don't know you can inject even uh, you can inject errors intentionally if you want to check some 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 behavior right right here you can see these little bubbles moving up and that's the traffic that is going outside the cluster to your application so it's going to be really really handy well okay so I hope you enjoyed this video and can be a little useful for you. <laughs> we try to wrap up all the complexity about getting started with this and have a, a easy environment to work. So hope is uh, going to help you and see you in the next video. Bye.